Hey guys, Sam Wong from Tech Fusions here and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Wii Remote to the Samsung Galaxy S3 with a little help from Wii Remote Controller. This is a free application on the Android Store. So keep watching to find out how to do it. So basically this is very simple, all you have to do is download the Wiimote controller application then you can just take it from there and download all different sort of emulation apps or even real Android applications which you can use the Wii Remote for. So if we go into the application first, here it is, there we go it just says that I've connected it before and first of all make sure you've got your booth, uh, Bluetooth on. As you can see there, I've got my Bluetooth on. Just hold it up so you can see the screen. And what you want to do is just press initiate and connect. And then you just press 1 and 2 on the Wii Remote. Or you can hold it down. As you can see there, it's connected. And when I press a button, a command input comes up. So it's press and release. And it now the Wii Remote is connected to the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now if you want to connect a classic controller just the same thing. Basically I'm just going to turn Bluetooth off and show you. So I have got my classic controller here. Basically it's not in that great condition. My sister plays with the Wii Remote all the time. That way they're a bit off colour. <laughs> you have to get some new ones soon but there we go you just plug that into your Wii remote as you do normally then you've got the controller here then what we do press initiate and connect again oh, when I turn bluetooth on of course silly me there we go and then I'll press 1 and 2 so the lights are flashing and you know when it's connected because it comes up one like that which is pretty awesome I think you can connect multiple Wii remotes with this I'm not that sure but I only need the one for now okay from here what you will have to do is press on menu and then press settings scroll down and click on language input from here you have to change this to the Wii controller and off you go you can um, easily go and play some emulator games with this so here's the Genesis one and what you need to do beforehand go on settings and click on input and then configure keypad and then you click on this one you will have to map the buttons so say A is this I'll just press A here now that is mapped to the A button and do that for all of the ones before you start playing it might take a little while to um, experiment and see which one's right but um, you can set them up however you like really so I'm going to load ROM and I'm going to load Sonic just because it's amazing so here's some gameplay footage of this now the sound seems to be a bit lower tone for some reason a bit slower um, people may tell I think you can speed up this um, the rate yeah. just for this demonstration I'll just play it normally so on the this one you have to use the d-pad as you can see everything's working fine so I'll press A just jumps I'll turn it down a bit there we go jump oh, I have to run back but yeah, it's very easy to control and it's nice playing on a classic controller. It's like you're playing on a mini TV, really. And it's nice just for like when you're just sitting there in bed and got your phone on your side and you can play the games. Even if you just lay it down on the desk like I am, you can just play it. It's very good to do. So that was how to connect your Wii Remote and Classic Controller to your Samsung Galaxy S3. 
If you want to see more videos on how to connect um, Wii remotes and what emulators you can play on the Samsung Galaxy S3, then comment down below. Also, I forgot to mention, you don't need a root for this. Um, I will put a big sign up at the start, probably. You don't need a root for this, which is amazing. On the Samsung Galaxy S2, you needed to root it, which was a bit of a pain in the bum. But now you can just do it straight away and enjoy your retro gaming. So this was Sam Morton from Tech Fusions. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. And I'll see you in the next one.